thinking walking on that foot. Jesus, somebody Ooh. catch him. What the f Hi friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you all are doing well. As you can see from the title of today's video, I'm watching The Society of the Snow. Over the last few weeks, I've been seeing a lot of reactors react to this film and they've all been pretty sad in the thumbnails. So I was interested to see like what this movie was about and after reading the summary of the film I saw that it was based on true events of a plane crash that happened and the aftermath of the survivors figuring out what they're going to do. So I was definitely all in and learning about this story. I also saw that the film is nominated next month at the Academy Awards for Best International Film which is amazing and it has a Rotten Tomato score of 91%. So I have high hopes for this film. Over the years we've seen shows similar to this topic, although not based on a true events necessarily with Yellow Jackets, The Wilds, and if you go back to the early 2000s, you have Lost, which was a major hit. If you're new here and you feel inclined, please subscribe to my channel, like the video, and leave your comments down below, and let's get right into the reaction. An Uruguayan plane crashed in the Andean mountain range. The answer is in the mountain. It was so quiet, like that opening scene, which kind of shows like the isolation that they probably felt while the survivors felt while they were there. Mm, damn. Our money. Okay, you don't have an envelope, Coco? No. <laughs> Anybody else then? He said, you want the money or not? For Macho, for Numa. Numa. You are doing a horrible job at whispering. <laughs> not them passing a note around like they in class, like they in school. And it's paper to Pancho, right there. What's the point in, you just hand it to them, just walk up there. Y'all making all this noise? Come to Chile, man. Santiago de Chile, $45. You'll never find a cheaper ticket. Never. Dang. In your life. 40. This is the 70s, so I wish I could pay $45 to for a flight to Chile. Don't let me travel with these two morons. Please, <laughs> I beg of you. You're not gonna convince me, Pancho. Group travel? Mm, it's not my cup of tea. Nope. But we're gonna have different lives. This may actually be the last trip we take together, you know? Mmm, that makes that even worse. Jim, what do you think? Should we go? We want you to camp. Mm. In hindsight, probably not. Tuesday morning in Montevideo. Dang, not you knocking the stuff around. Like you can't drive, sir. Three. I wonder how many people ended up surviving out of the 40. For some of them, it's their first trip away from home. That's horrible. Your first trip, your first time flying from home and that's what happens? Oh, I see. Is it true these mountains try to suck up anyone who passes over them? Yeah. Mm, don't say that. Mm -mm. Don't say that. <laughs> the warm winds from the plains of Argentina collide with the cold winds of the mountains and create a suction effect. Nah, you're just joking. So is there not another way to go? And now we have to go from here to here. Mm hmm So you go around it? And once in Chile, we just turn north in Curico, and in mm. 10 minutes, we'll be landing in Santiago. Oh, no. Passengers. Please fasten your seatbelts in a few minutes. If I would have known this beforehand, if I was one of them, uh, I don't know if I would have went, but they probably didn't know this about the route they would have to take. Like, everybody, please fasten your seatbelts. Bodies are not allowed to be scattered in the Andes. Please. See, today you could not do that. Like, is that like a charter plane? It's not like a commercial flight. Sit down, put your seatbelt on and sit down. Even if the fastened seatbelt light isn't on, I'm staying I'm staying fastened in my seat at all times. Hey, what the 
Seem like the plane is going faster. Jesus. They don't even have cubbies to keep the luggage from falling. Okay. Why are y'all going so fast? Is that before impact? God. Oh my god. No. He just flew like right out. God damn. Oh. oh my god. Oh my god. His ain't. Oh my god. I don't know how anybody survived that. I'm grateful that they did, but... God damn. What is that? What is, is that? Is that the, the engine fluid? Uh -huh. Oh no, she's not doing well. Mm. I'm Roberto, what's your name? Alvaro. Alvaro, what? Alvaro. What happened? What happened? Day one. How many days were they out there? I need you to tell me how the radio works. What? What do I press? Mm. Yeah, he's not gonna make it. In the span of minutes, temperature drops 86 degrees. We huddle together the best we can. Living and dead. Living and dead. Help! Mm, no. Jeez. So let's clean up the side of the plane. That's where the sun is. Take anyone who's hurt over there and help them as much as we can. Thank you for being the organizer, cause me, I would, I don't know, I'd be paralyzed in fear. Okay, y'all got food, but hmm, how long will it last? Hmm, put on his shoes. Hey! Help! Help! There is no way they're gonna hear y'all. How many gonna die tonight? Mm. No one's gonna die, Carlitos. Don't think Promise. like that. But it's like at some point, they're gonna have to leave the site. Like, I don't know. Should they stay there? Or should they leave and try to find help? But I don't know. They're coming. Tomorrow. How you know? Is that wishful thinking? He'll never go against the captain. But he doesn't like what he sees. I don't like what I see either. This is a place where life is impossible. Out here, we are an anomaly. It's so beautiful, yet so isolating. Just so... <sighs> it's just traumatic. Mm. That's smart, but it's gonna take forever for that bottle to get filled up. Think that one, over there. Mm, that's smart too. They could have dropped some food from the plane, right? Well, that wouldn't make sense. If they drop a package like that, it'd sink in the snow. We'd never get it. Mm, I mean, if they see y'all, can they just, why would they just drop food? They can just, just come get y'all. It's like so many planes flying around that area, you would think that somebody knows that a plane is down by now? That doesn't make any sense. But I guess they would have to know the exact location, but planes keep flying through. They're going that way. We need to have faith. Faith? 
What faith? Don't talk like that in front of the younger guys. If you, you got exactly. You gotta have some sort of faith. We won't last like this. How long can we survive? Do you know the rule of three? No. Three minutes without air. Three days without water. Without water. And three, three weeks, weeks without, without food. food. In my opinion, we should go up there where the plane crashed mm. and get the radio working. Yeah, but at this point, you gotta put action. Faith without works is dead. You gotta start figuring out something. I don't know. You're gonna be burning even more calories going up that huge mountain. That shit is steep. They don't even have the tools to really even do it. I don't know if this was a good idea. Is somebody gonna fall? That's too steep. I didn't realize it was that steep. What? Ew. What is he seeing? What happened? Can't see the plane. Wait, what? Wait, what does he mean? They won't find it even if they fly over us. Oh, well, yeah. What was that? Oh, is that an avalanche? Oh, God. We're going back. Where is he going? Why is he by himself? Is he trying, is he trying to go back up to the other part of the plane? Is he gonna eat his skin? <sighs> Stop, don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do it. Don't do it. Oh. I mean, I can't blame him when you haven't eaten in six days, like, but still. If we want to get rescued, we got to stay alive. And to stay alive, we need to eat. Mm, that's just like yellow jackets. I mean, I don't know. When you haven't eaten and you have no food. We can't just go and take defile and desecrate someone's body without their we consent. Have to eat, Numa. We don't have the right to. Who's going to take that from me? You? I mean, I see it from both sides. I hate to say it, but they're gonna die if they don't eat. But it's morally wrong to to eat another person. It's messed up. It's just a messed up situation all around. But what if it's my loved one that y'all try now? Now we're gonna have to fight because I'm not gonna let you eat my loved one if they pass. Mm, he's eating the cigarette. Oh, what does it mean when your pee is black? Like, you just have no... I don't... I've never heard of that. I guess you're dehydrated, like extremely dehydrated if your pee is black. This is a cemetery. At this point, that's really what it feels like. If I die, I give you permission to feed on my body. That's generous. I give you my consent as well. And you have mine. You also have my permission. Damn. What? They gonna make a blood pack? Have you the temptation but deliver us from evil, amen. What Our are they doing? Are heaven. they Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come. It will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Are they, Give us this table. are they doing what I think they're doing? From evil, amen. On earth as it is in heaven. You gonna eat it raw? Raw? Well, I mean, there's no way that for them to cook. Ugh. Will God forgive us? Mm. We don't have a choice. I'm sorry, Marcella. Ooh, that, that's wild. It's desperate times. It's desperate times, though. Mm. 
Yeah, once they get rescued, whoever survives, y'all gonna need some serious therapy after this. This is... Tito chooses the bodies, and they cut them up in secret. Jesus. Away from everyone else. That's how they keep the ones who eat sane. So they don't have to know. The radio. Oh. No! What? What could have happened now? They ended the search? The what? Of the Chilean Air Force, as well as aircraft of the Uruguayan and Argentinian Air Force. That's horrible. Like, what? You just give up searching. That kind of reminds me of Naya from Glee. Like, they stopped searching for her at night. But it's like, I get it. I don't know. It's just... If it's dark and the conditions are bad, how can the rescuers be safe? But it's you only search for 10 days. I was wrong. I begged you to wait to be rescued for nothing. The whole morale is shot at this point. Over there. <sighs> Please let them find something. <sighs> oh no. This is so dangerous. It's so steep. We can barely keep going. And the night traps us. So they're stuck up there? Oh, get closer, get closer! Jesus. Mm. I hope they all survive that. Okay. Damn, they got completely covered in ice. Mm, his eyes are like bloodshot red. <gasps> At this one, they gotta worry about frostbite. Oh. Okay. How you gonna stop? Day 17. <sighs> okay, they're laughing and smiling. That's what you need. You're trying. You gotta keep the morale up. Wait, 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 wait. What's that? Why? Why they were laughing? They were happy. Why? Oh, I'm so tired, child. I would. I'm so tired. I'm really tired. I mean, joyless. They can't have any joy. <sighs> what the hell happened? Please, no. So they're just stuck in there? Like it's become a cough. Like it's just like a coffin. There's no... Mm-mm, no. No. He's great. Oh, I love him. Oh. They gotta get out of there. Oh, it's an avalanche. They're gonna be stuck again. Damn. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine people died during that. So they had 27. They under 20 now. Now you're letting yourselves die? That's what we've been to. He has a point, but that'll make it easier, man. Like, hold on, give me a second. I can't, you can't do it! I can't. You are stressing me to hell. I'm stressing. We gotta get out. We you gotta got stay here. We gotta get out. Cause that's just a coffin at this point. All right, can somebody help him? Stop it, no. Oh, why? Okay. But no, y'all really gotta get up out of there. Like, you gotta get out. Four days buried there, like you gotta go. You 
you just got to get your legs moving, like get circulation. You can't just be curled up in there. Oh, the sun. Please don't let nothing bad happen. Damn, they were buried deep. We made it. I'm scared to be happy about them being joyful because the last time shit hit the fan. We can't spend a single night on the open. Tell him, Numa. Yeah, that did not end well. So far, we've always gone out without a plan and we failed. Mm -hmm. Over a month. Well, the thaw begins. That's good. That's good. No, man, you ain't gonna make it walking on that foot. Jesus, somebody Ooh. catch him. What the f***? <sighs> Not my boy, Numa, nah. He made it, but like, what are they gonna do about that infection? Come on, Numa. Numa, answer me. Say something. It's okay, we're here. What happened? Don't let my boy Numa die, please. Roy is weak and doesn't think the radio will work. Come on, Roy. You gotta try. Like, what's the harm in trying? What if it doesn't work? Huh? Let's try to get it to work first. Like... I can't give up now. No, I'm not giving up, Pancho. You know, I'm dying. No, please don't die on us. Please. I want them to get out of this so bad. Oh! <sighs> Don't, now that's not gonna help doing that. The local Air Force has specially equipped a C-47 aircraft to resume the search. Well, thank about damn time. Jesus. Y'all stopped searching 30 days ago. More than that. You still believe they think we're alive? Well, we are alive. Alive? Look at us. Look at this. This isn't being alive. We won't make it just by praying, you know. You don't want to be under the ground like everybody else. Y'all are alive. I don't like seeing Numa like this. He was the backbone. I don't want you to know that you have my permission to use my mm. body. No, don't say that. I'm prepared for what's coming. We both are, my brother. I don't want Numa to die. No. No, no. My name is Numa. Oh my God. I died on December 11th, 1972. In my sleep. Not no like what? <sighs> Is this saying use his body? No, we can't. No, no. There is no greater love than to give one's life for friends. We'll see you guys you soon. Can do it. Got this. Come on, guys. God, I hope they make it. All of them. Just please just make it. Get help. You guys are healthy, doing really great. They have enough food for like 10 days. Nothing's gonna stop them. Please let them make it. They gotta make it. Like, they, we gotta make it. The amount of bravery that takes. It's a. Nando! What? <gasps> oh, they found a person. My god. Like about damn time. Cause y'all kinda left them people there to die. Like stopping that search, I would feel some type of way. Like I'm sorry, like I I guess I get the logistics of it, but come on. I'ma feel some type of way. I'm sorry. Oh, they're trying to look done up. Before they're rescued, oh, they're trying to look nice. 
they did what what they did with so much care though even with the hard decisions like they still tried to do it with care and it's there y'all made it work for that that's what miracle they really work for that the ones who came back from death to reunite with their fathers i just realized that that's numa still narrating keep taking care of each other and tell everyone what we did on the mountain that was a beautiful yet very sad and traumatizing story and the fact that it really happened is crazy Whew. Okay, you guys, I just finished watching The Society of the Snow and it was so sad. The fact that this really happened and just to see the amount of trauma, the things they had to do to survive down to resorting to cannibalism, just going through the initial crash, then the avalanche that happened that buried them a, a lot of them alive it was just a story of triumph a story of pain of happiness of brotherhood of sisterhood of human connection and bonds and just doing all that you can to survive as humans during a very tragic event I really enjoyed this movie. I love, it was so beautiful. It was so crazy because it was just so, so, so beautiful in the backdrop, but in the center of it, it was so much pain and anguish that was happening. The main narrator, Numa, he kept the story together with his narrations. In the first half, you're like, he's this tri the most triumphant one. Like he's doing what he can to keep everybody together and trying to do his best to help push the group for, forward so they can survive. And then the fact that he ends up dying halfway through the movie or maybe 75% through the movie, I did not expect that at all to see like, to me, he was one of the strongest characters. To see him kind of just wither away was so sad to see. The amount of things they had to do, like just keep trying and trying to figure out ways to survive and to get through this situation, which was over 70 days of going through this was, I can't even imagine. I don't know what I would do in that situation. You never, of course you never know what you would do in that situation. So it was just crazy. Like, and in the end only what, 16 of them survived out of, it was 40 of them. It was just terribly sad, but I was so happy to see them keep going and finally able to get help. I was very sad that of course, 10 day, after 10 days of searching for them, I don't wanna say they gave up on the search, but they stopped the search and didn't start back for another, it was over 30 days. That's just crazy to me. Like I understand there's certain logistics, but come on, like I, it's, it's crazy to me. I, I the human side of me doesn't get it logically. I guess I get it logistically, but they were still out there, still trying to survive, even though they knew they weren't being sought after. They weren't, they weren't having any search crews looking for them. So yeah, it was just amazing that in the end, the amount of people that did survive and made it out of there, they actually, you know, they made it out and while the others they were left there and they were died there they kept all like little souvenirs and letters to remember them that they were able to take with them so even though their bodies were left there their soul and energy wasn't left there so it was just a great movie like i said i'll be super surprised if it doesn't win best international film at the Academy Awards next month. Even though I haven't seen the other films, they could be just as good, but this was amazingly done. It was so beautiful, so heart-wrenching. Just, it was just a great, great film. I'm happy that I was able to watch it and I'm definitely gonna do more research on the real people 
and I want to see if there's like maybe a documentary about them that I can watch later on so yeah this was a great movie let me know your thoughts on this movie if you watched it and if you haven't already please subscribe to my channel like this video and leave your comments down below and I will see you all next time bye